Good afternoon everyone. Today we are going to discuss heterocyclic compounds. Heterocyclic compounds which are uh, having cyclic ring and some heteroatom either nitrogen, oxygen or sulfur. So basically we will discuss about the monocyclic compounds which having one heteroatom or bicyclic compound which having two cyclic atoms. So what we are going to discuss in this lecture we are going to discuss with the introduction of the heterocyclic compound, their classification, their special character and synthesis we will discuss. So first of all we will discuss about the, what are the heterocyclic compounds. Heterocyclic compounds are the organic compound that contain a ring or a cyclic ring hmm, with a carbon atom with a one heteroatom. Other than carbon either nitrogen, sulfur or oxygen is available. Heterocycles exist as 3, 4, 5 or 6 multiple membered rings. 3 membered ring, 4 membered, 5 membered and 6 membered rings. The stability of the heterocycle increase with less distorted bond angles. So the distortion in the bond angle how less the stability of the heterocyclic compound is high. So that are the 5 and 6 membered rings are more stable with the maximum number of conjugated double bonds because of the delocalization of pi bond electron pair from uh, molecular pi orbital filled with the 6 electrons and compound have the aromatic character. So the stability of a heterocyclic compound increase with the depend on the two things. So first of all less distortion in the bond angle. Secondly uh, pi electron the delocalized pi electrons availability which can uh, create the aromaticity in the structures and uh, stabilize the structure. Some ring in spite of uh, being 5 or 6 membered are not stable heterocycles. Some cyclic hemiacetyls like hemiacetyls are the monosaccharides uh, which are uh, having a cyclic forms and when they combine it form a monosaccharide, the cyclic form of monosaccharides and that is quite unstable. Cyclic esters are lectones, lectones, cyclic dicarboxylic acid, acid and hydride that all are quite unstable, not stable that much. Non-aromatic heterocycles, cyclic ether, amines and sulfides behave like a cyclic analogs with the some functional group and do not require any special discussion. So this is the non-aromatic. Aromatic heterocycles, the maximum number of conjugated double bonds are much more important. So the delocalized pi electrons are also available, the aromatic heterocycles as per the Huckel rule. So uh, we can speak about uh, the cycle uh, in the structure. Few, few so many things are actually uh, responsible for the stability of a uh, five member or six member ring. So uh, when we are talking about the hemiacetals and the cyclic esters or the amides, specific amides, these are uh, quite exceptional cases in which ca in which heterocycles which are not actually five or six member ring having and then after they are not stable. Either in other cases non-aromatic and the aromatic. So these are some basic uh, heterocyclic compound. The five member ring with two double bond is having aromatic characters, pyrrole, pridine, Pyrrolidine, imidazole, thiazole, thiophene, thiolane, furan, tetrahydrofuran, pridine, pepridine, permidine, pyrazine, azepine, 1,4-diazepine, 4-H-pyrone, tetrahydrofyrone, indole, quinoline, isoquinoline, chromion, chromine, purine, pteridine. That these are actually few uh, heterocyclic compounds which we have uh, just exclusively collected and that all the heterocyclic compound having basically uh, some specific biological activity. So when we are talking about the heterocyclic aromatic compounds or aliphatic, all have some specific biological activity and in many drugs you can see this kind of drug structure, this kind of heteroatoms are available in the structures of drug. So basically these heterocyclic compounds are responsible for specific biological activity. So all the nitrogen compounds having antibacterial, antifungal activity blindly. So somehow either in minor or major amount uh, therapeutic potential. So when we are talking about the medicinal chemistry or we are going in the branch of medicinal chemistry, we want uh, it is actually medicinally uh, effects or you can say that therapeutic potential is available in the um, all heterocyclic compounds minor or major amount. So first of all as per the syllabus we will discuss about the pyrrole. Pyrrole is a 5 member ring with a nitrogen heteroatom and this is by, uh, by behave it is 
heterocyclic or uh, aromatic compound. This is heterocyclic aromatic compound. And after this, we'll discuss about the pridine, primidine, and other ones also. So first of all, we'll discuss about the pyrrole. What is pyrrole? Pyrrole is a heterocyclic aromatic organic compound having five-membered ring with the formula C4H4NH. It is colorless volatile liquid that darken readily upon the exposure in air. Substituted derivatives are also called pyrroles. So a range of pyrrol you can find the methyl pyrrol, alkoxy pyrrol, ethyl pyrrol or some other substitution of pyrroles you will get. And pyrrol itself is, is a, a pyromatic compound having very uh, huge and very unique uh, biological activity and the other chemical activities which we are going to discuss. So first of all we will discuss about the resonating structures of uh, pyrrol. So the lone pair on the nitrogen is in the p orbital so it is involved in six pi electrons. So the system is aromatic two double bond it means four pi electrons are already available on in the structure and four plus two the two lone pair of electrons are available on the nitrogen so four plus two six. So overall six pi electrons are available in the structure uh, as per the Huckel rule it is aromatic and spiral is not very nucleophilic and is only weakly basic at nitrogen. Looking at the homo of pyrrole, the lobes are much bigger at the 2 and 5 position. This indicates that the reaction are most likely takes place at the 2 and 5 position. So on the second position and the fifth positions are more active sites in the uh, reaction. Resonating structures of uh, pyrrole in which you can see the electron shifting is going on from the first position to second, second position to third and third position to fourth. So uh, as you can see the maximum charge is generated on the negative charge you can see on the place of uh, second or on fifth or on third and fourth everywhere you can see but the maximum stability of the electron you can see at second and fifth positions. The resonant uh, contributors of pyrrole provide insight to the reactivity of the compounds like furan and thiophene pyrrole is more reactive than benzene. So when we are talking about the five membered ring uh, the spiral is really very much uh, reactive it is having more reactivity than benzene towards electrophilic aromatic substitution because it is able to stabilize the positive charge of intermediate carbocation so now how can we synthesize it is very simple from furan we can synthesize it the pyrrole could be obtained from the following reaction it could be achieved by the furan with ammonia when uh, we are uh, when uh, the furan amination is going on when the reaction of ammonia and furan takes place and on the removal of water molecule it can easily exist in form of pyrrole. So it is a very simple reaction and it is uh, in presence of the solid acids reaction is fast. Pyrrol other in other way pyrrol can be generated with the help of ethyne two ethynes or um, acetylene with ammonia in the red hot tube at high temperature can be generate pyrrole. So this is another way to produce pyrrole. Uh, now we'll discuss about the acidic properties of the pyrrole. So due to the participation of nitrogen, so lone pair in the resonance and the aromaticity of pyrrole has been exceptional strong acidic property. So when we are talking about the nitrogen having two lone pairs of electron and these two non lone pairs of electrons are responsible for the resonating structure as well as the aromaticity of the pyrrole. It is uh, created the strong acidic property that is it can lose the hydrogen attached the nitrogen when reacting with any base. So the strong acidic properties of the pyrrole is just because of the lone pair of electron available on the nitrogen. This nitrogen can easily shift and create the resonating structure and complete the aromaticity just because of the six pi electron is uh, six pi electrons are uh, required for an uh, aromatic ring monocyclic ring at uh, as per the Huckel rule. So now we'll discuss about the pyrrole is sensitive towards the strong acid. This is due to the protonation occurs. Uh, of the carbon and resulting protonated molecule will add another unprotonated pyrrole molecule this continue until a pyrrole trimer is formed. So uh, a conjugated reaction is takes place when we are taking a reaction the when when proton is accepted by pyrrole it is converted into a dimer or trimer the reaction is considered as electrophilic addition of the pyrrole.
so this is a specific reaction of pyrrole which you cannot find any any other way, any other place electrophilic substitution in the pyrrole pyrrole is reactive towards uh, electrophilic substitution it is more reactive than benzene because of resonance pushes away the electron density from the nitrogen towards the carbon this making ring electron rich the substitution is easier and the mild region so what we can say that uh, pyrroles are more reactive than benzene and benzenes are more reactive than so electrophilic substitution in the pyrrole we can substitute electrophilic substitution uh, takes place at carbon in the ring not on the nitrogen all the electrophilic substitution takes place other than all four positions and basically it will be on three and four position because two and five position was occupied for the nucleophilic substitution so electrophilic substitution takes place at the c2 position sorry uh, electrophilic sub substitution takes place at c2 position carbon next to the heteroatom so then nitrogen and the next atom is uh, the maximum electron density is available on the second and fifth position and uh, this kind of substitution takes place at c2 and c3 position so preferably the position is c2 carbon next to the heteroatom if there is an already substitution on c2 then c3 the first substitution is on c2 and the c3 and c4 so the prior one is c2 and then c3 if c2 position is uh, occupied already then the reaction will take place at c3 position the first substitution is on c2 position because it is it has more stable intermediate it is stabilized three resonance when we are talking about the fifth uh, uh, third position it it uh, having less stable intermediate stabilized less or two resonant in the structures only the intermediate result from c3 attack is stabilized by two resonance structure as i earlier said uh, for C2 position, three stabilizer structures are possible, but C3 position, there is only two resonating structures are possible. So, C2 position is always preferable than C3. In case of electrophilic substitution, electrophilic substitution, we can do uh, either uh, friedel craft acylation, we can do, uh, we can do the halogenation in, in presence of NBS, okay, and... Uh, Halogenation can take multiple halogenation can take place in this reaction, so that also is possible. And diazotization reaction can take place on the C2 position. So first priority is always for C2 position. The third and nitration we can do, and sulfonation we can do in in presence of pre -dean it is possible. And uh, allerich reaction you can say that methyl um, amide group amines also can be attached on the position. So these are the reactions which takes place. We can sulfonation, nitration, diagenide, diagenium salt form formation, ion formation, multiple halogenation, halogenation, friedel craft alkylation or acylation can take place. So these all the electrophilic substitution reactions of the pyrrole. Thank you very much. In the next lecture, we will discuss about the pridine and the other members of heterocyclic family. And today this much.